I was born and raised in Detroit. Growing up there, I saw people like me running things. This is a courtroom, not a circus, so we're going to calm down. I'm sorry. What I found there was a passion that I didn't know existed. This is the bottom line. I'm excited to free fall into the limitless possibilities with we the people. So many are fearful of the law. They think it's something that works against them. I think you need to begin to accept responsibility for your mistakes. We are the people. Matthew Renner claims he shouldn't have to pay for the cost of his ex-girlfriend's new cell phone now that they've broken up. Natalie Baylor says the phone was a gift to replace the one Mr. Renner broke. All rise. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lauren Lake presiding. You may be seated. Thank you, Sean. Good day, everyone. Good day. Good day. This is the case of Renner versus Baylor. Mr. Renner, you are suing Ms. Baylor for $1,200. Um, you say it's because of an iPhone you gave her and unpaid mobile bills. Explain to the court what happened. Yeah, so I'm suing my ex-girlfriend um, for $1,200 for a phone. I brought hers when hers broke during our relationship. Everything was going good. We got along great. One time we were hanging out, her phone broke. I got offered for my phone company, now you know, a free why, phone with extra line. How, Hold on, Ms. And, Baylor, let me get the case started. I want to understand why he is suing you. Yes. Go ahead. Yes. So when the phone broke, I got her a new one on my line. I got a free phone for an extra line. I got it All for right, her. So you added an extra line to your account. Yes. And it was a free phone. Yes. And that was free. you gave her the phone. Yes. Did you pay for her service on your account as well? I did. Not all the time. All right, so Ms. Baylor, did he give you a phone when your phone broke? Yes, because he broke the phone. Oh, you didn't add that part in, Mr. Renner. Uh, yeah, of course not. Your Honor, I did not break the phone, but I did buy her a new phone regardless. No, 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 no. What happened to the phone? No, so what he doesn't mention right here is that um, he used to be paranoid about who was texting me paranoid who was in my DMs and um, I remember this specific day uh, he got mad at me and snatched my phone and the phone broke on the floor and he had no choice to get me another phone because what could could I do with no phone? Did you he try to snatch the phone and it fell on the ground Mr. Renner? No Your yes. Honor, I did not. So what happened in your estimation? In my estimation what happened is I was I was walking up behind her she dropped her phone. Why would I in my opinion, this is what really going on. She is always on her phone talking to people, talking to other guys and things like that, which she that's brings to my attention That's what you're assuming. I'm lot. not talking to any guys. And that's why we broke up, because it just, I cannot, this is what I do all the time. So you get a phone, and then what happens? And now he's asking me for $1,200. For the price of the phone? Yes. Right. After why? We, so after we split, after we broke up. How long after you bought the phone did you break up? It had been a couple months. Months. Yeah, months, yeah. All right, so you get the phone for, and then in just two months after that, you all break up? He we broke up with me, yes, because again, like I'm telling you, he has such insecurities for him. I'm always pursuing other people. For him, I'm always on the phone to talk to other people whenever my, the real reason why I'm on the phone is to help him with his business and help myself for my business. What kind of business do you do where she helps you using the phone? Well, he's not good, I'm sorry, but we, we gotta say what it is. He's not good at, you know, putting out there what he's doing. He's a very talented, I gotta admit, um, tattoo artist, but it doesn't, it doesn't stop there. You have to put yourself out there. I, I am a graphic designer, so I have to put my, my talent and, and whatever I know how, what to do the best out there on social media. So you felt like platform. he was not having a big enough social media presence it's a fact. to support a business that could be doing a lot better if he was out there. Especially after what he'd been through during the pandemic. I mean, me as a partner, I want to lift him up. If he's, you know, doing financially good, I'm doing financially good as well. It's, it's a 50-50. So let me ask you this. Were these phones in your personal name, Mr. Renner, or your business name? Personal name. Okay. But you knew that she was going to use the phone to do a little help for you. Yeah. Right. And it did begin that way. But, again, I'm a tattoo artist. She helped me with taking pictures of the art I was doing, posting it, and things like that. And it went great. Every single time there would be any disagreement between me and her, 
I would get thrown in my face that she had other men that she could be with. Yeah. Men that men from my from my Instagram account that she that she was running, men from her Instagram account that she was running, whatever yes. man from either account, she would put in my face that any time she could go be with them and she could leave me and go be with yeah, them. And the if reason, I wasn't doing what she wanted me to do, if I wasn't not. pleasing her however she wanted to be pleased, she would immediately that, no, go in my face. No, no. Let me tell you something. I emphasize the fact that there is plenty of men that are waiting for me outside of the house to let you know that. Listen, I still choose you. I I still choose you every single day, no matter what. Your Honor. It is not a matter of a question of my care. This care sounds like a typical argument, doesn't it, Sean? Absolutely. Coming up. Because mind you, he broke up with me for, for some stupid reason. I had to walk out of the house this night. Let me be completely honest with you. That's what I hope you're going to yeah. do in court. Like, we're back with exes Matthew Renner and Natalie Baylor, who are fighting over a cell phone. So you all to it about the phone, about social media. There were insecurities there. There were all those things, and this led to the breakup. We got into an argument, okay? And um, after this argument, he told me, well, if this is what you desire, if this is what you want to do, just go. That go with the, the men. That she sees, the ones that she likes, the ones she talks Absolutely to. Absolutely not. that's what she wants, she threw this my is, face. This is assumption, and you cannot, there is no facts. There is no facts. You literally pack my stuff and put the stuff in front of the door because I had to stop this because conversation. Because she walked out, we, she left. And yes. right before, she speeds out the house. She goes, I, I could be with anybody I want listen, to. All these guys talking, I can be with them. You see how it goes. I said, that's what you want to be. If you want to be, that's what you want to be, then go ahead and you do that. Listen, she picks up herself and she storms out and she leaves. I stormed out Next why? morning, she's not there. She's still gone. I, how do we get to the point where you, you think she owes you for this phone? That's so, insecurity. So she comes back when I was at work, gets her stuff. We never talked. We haven't talked since then. No, I get a, I get a bill. Though, you, I get a bill that says that I owe twelve hundred dollars for the termination of the contract offered. from the phone because she decides to switch her because number and up. the line. Ah, yes. Got no, no, no. it. Let yes. me. <laughs> once she takes the phone off your account. Yes. Then it's like the price of the phone escalates. It's no longer free because it's not associated to your other phone. Bingo, yes. But I'm not using yes, the phone right. anymore because, mind you, he broke up with me for, for some stupid reason. I had to walk out of the house this night. Let me be completely honest with you. That's what I hope you're going to yeah. do in court. Well, exactly. So <laughs> when you, you see our conversation, you see that we, we cannot get to an agreement. Whenever that happens within closed doors, behind closed doors, the only time, the only thing that you have to do at some point is to step out of the house. It just escalates. You needed He's to step out to de-escalate the anger. You did not want something to happen that shouldn't happen, the exactly. anger to and take over. Dealing, and not dealing with your and that's why you didn't come back. Y yes. But you weren't going to leave the relationship. No, but of course not. But, How would but, I leave a, a relationship over a phone? I mean, that, that's insane So to me. the point is, why didn't you all work it out and get back together then? Because he putting, he, I believe that he's putting on me, projecting on me things that he doesn't, he doesn't want me to do. And he makes me feel bad for things that I'm not doing. Yeah. Mind you, he is right here Wait. complaining about stuff such as, I left the house and I didn't come until next morning whenever for a whole weekend I didn't hear from him when he was in jail because he couldn't pay for the child support of his baby mama. And Woo! then you want me and then that you want me. That was a mouthful. Okay, I, I'm you, just trying to figure out how we get to the price of the phone. You done gone and it's way down the rabbit hole. We're talking about twelve thousand dollars that he owes to his baby mama, and not twelve hundred. So you know what I'm saying? To me, it just doesn't make sense. To me, we're not in court because okay, he Okay, uh, Mr. Renner, you better jump in here because Miss Bailey's you know, telling all your business. Yeah, I know she definitely is. So, so how do we? So at what point do you say I need the money back? Do you ask her for the phone back or for the money for the phone back? What do you do? I don't ask her about anything until I got a bill. As soon as I got a bill, I messaged her and I asked her and I, I said to her, hey, got a bill? I'm going to need... Is that bill? This is the bill. Let me see it, please. I'm not paying for a phone that I'm not using anymore. This is the cell phone bill. I see $1,200 and now he owes it because it got disconnected from his account. I mean, I'm not going to So use you disconnected it. Do you admit that? Yes. But now you say you're not using it. No, I'm not on his account anymore. Oh, but you're still using the phone. Yes. No. Where's the phone? I mean, probably at my house. If you want that, if you want the phone, I can totally give you the phone back. You, you can't use it. I mean, that's enough. So problem. it took you all he to come asking. all the way to we the people and waste all. Don't talk over me. 
thing. Sorry. It took you all to come all the way to We The People for you to look at him and say, I'll give you that phone back. That's a miscommunication that we've been dealing with since the beginning of our relationship. Never Miscommunication? Ever it's total and utter lack of communication. Absolutely. It's ridiculous how much time and energy you waste of your own and of the courts. Right. Are you willing to give him the telephone back? Yeah. Do you want the telephone back? Yes, Your Honor. I thought you should say it because the real truth is you bought the phone as a gift. Gifts are not revocable. You give something, you don't get it back just because you broke up. Just like wasn't you did. It, we, we made it, Listen, I'm done. Because both of you are basically telling the same story. But what you're not understanding is the phone was a gift. But what I got her to say is that she will give you that phone back. Because I was not going to rule in your favor anyway, so you better be lucky she said that. Well, you're going to see It's the back. order of... Miss Baylor, if you do not stop running your mouth while I'm talking... I apologize. It is the order of this court. You return the phone to Mr. Renner since you said in open court you were willing to, and he accepted the phone. Judgment is for the defendant with the understanding that the, the phone is returned to you. Do you understand? Yes, Your Honor. Court is adjourned. All rise. Judge Lake has ruled in favor of the defendant. The cell phone will be returned to the plaintiff. You should probably worry about your child and your child support and your baby mama before you worry about a damn pho a phone. Really? Has a little, yes, that's how say. I feel. Coming up. What did she leave, leave out? She left out the house rule. I let her know what Your I did want. I did not. General house rules. Just what are to you be talking a courteous about? roommate.